What's up guys, PowerManiac720 here and I have for you my round 6 match from the Nugget Bridge Live Tournament on November 30th. Um, so I, I posted my first 4 video, first 4 battles. I didn't post round 5, it was against ISS. Is it pronounced ISS or is it IS? I don't know. Um, he's a mod. And I ended up beating him. It was a really good match, uh, but he said he's going to use the team possibly in another, you know, like his last couple of premiere challenges for this format. So he asked if I didn't put it on. I asked him if I could put it on my channel. He said he preferred not. So I respect his wishes and I won't put it on the channel. Um, but everyone else let me. So this is my round six match. So both my opponent and I are three and two. Um, however, my three and two is a really bad three and two because I fought back from 0 and two, which means that I played an 0 and two opponent and then a 1 and 2 opponent and then a 2 and 2 opponent, which means since I beat them, they were 0 and 3, 1 and 3, and 2 and 3. Or they just dropped all together, so it really kills my resistance, unfortunately. So I pretty much know at this point, I, even if I win, I have no chance at making cut. Um, so I just, I just was, I'm hoping at this point for top 16 so I can get my 4 points, um, which isn't a lot, but you know, it could matter in the end. I mean, I know I need to like win a few of these to actually get points that matter. But anyway, so I lead Meow Six Scizor. Uh, he ends up leading High Dragon and Well While. Whew, excuse me. Um, so he was trying High Dragon right off the bat. I don't know what he was threatened by. I mean, he could have easily KO'd me with Fire Blast or Flamethrower. But anyway, he switches in Zapdos, which. Who knows, maybe he's seen my videos, or maybe he just knows Meowstic likes to spam para paralysis. Um, because I did indeed end up going for the, the Thunder Wave onto his High Dragon, which is his Zapdos, which means nothing happens. Um, so of course he Mega Balls his Mawile. I'd be incredibly surprised that he if he didn't and got three wins. Um, but I end up switching Gardevoir because even if he doesn't if he doesn't switch out High Dragon, he's probably going to just Flamethrower me, which doesn't do too much. Uh, goes for the player up on my Meow Stick, which does pretty much pretty much KOs it. Uh, but he survives, so I can at least get off a little bit of damage onto this uh, Zapdos. Uh, but Zapdos ends up KOing me with Thunderbolt. Um, uh, also, I'm able to at least burn the Mawile. So Mawile is a huge threat, of course, in this meta game. But if you burn it, it is a. It still hits pretty hard, but it's a much less scary threat. Um, and I end up surviving the Iron Head, which is cool. Um, once again, Lee Camacho, his spread is actually designed to survive a 252 adamant Iron Head from a burned Mawile 100% of the time. So I once I burned it, I'm like, yes, barring a crit, I got this. Um, so enter Scizor, which is nice. Um, at this point, I just need to get rid of the stupid Mawile. And I end up getting a critical hit, which is nice. Um, and he ends up going for a Roost on his Zapdos, which is annoying. Because Zapdos are bulky as it is, and I didn't really do that much damage to it anyway, but still, it's nice having any damage done to it. Um, so my Gardevoir, I end up going for the Trick Room, hoping for the best. Um... It didn't work. Um, so he keeps getting hurt by the burn. Here comes Ampharos, which is awesome because Zapdos versus Ampharos is an awesome matchup for Ampharos because Zapdos can't really do anything to Ampharos. However, I'm a little concerned because I know he has Hydreigon in the back and that could cause a lot of problems for me because Hydreigon can one hit KO both my Pokemon. However, the nice thing is if it's choice locked, I know it can only hit one hit KO one. So, like, whichever one I want to KO, the other one's just going to KO it, which is nice. Um, <clears throat> so I do another bullet punch, and he ends up going for the Swagger onto my Ampharos, which is so scary because Ampharos is just, I don't know, it's just, like, my favorite trick from Pokemon. and um, I end up fighting through and I end up hitting it with a Power Gem, which is nice. Swagger not strong enough for him there. So now enter Ludicolo, which is nice again because um, I don't have to worry about the High Dragon. So like if I can save the High Dragon for last with these two Pokemon, like I'm in really good shape. Um, he goes for the Hydro Pump on Ampharos, which I thought was weird. I don't know, is he not carrying 
uh, is he not carrying ice beam? Like, I don't know why you'd go for a hydro pump there. There's, a, it's inaccurate, and B, it's not very effective. I don't know. I thought it was weird. Um, so I end up fighting through another Swagger, and I go for the Dragon Pulse. Um, I was hoping he might switch into um, High Dragon, which he didn't. Um, at this point, I'm 100% confident that as long as he has a choice item, I will win this match because I can KO... Um, I can KO Zapdos with Faint, which I did. Um, so now at this point, he either he goes for a Fire Attack on my Scizor, or he goes for a Dragon Attack on my um, Ampharos. And if he goes for the Dragon Attack on Ampharos, then Scizor can one, it can KO it, survive the Dragon Attack the next turn and KO it with um, X Scissor. And if Ampharos survives, or if he goes for the Fire Attack, then Ampharos, of course, easily survives any Fire Attacks. Um, and I look and I see that he doesn't have any, um, he didn't have any, like, drop from Life Orb. So I'm assuming he's choice something. So as long as he doesn't get a critical hit, I should win the match. And he doesn't. He does just about, I think it was 52 damage to my Scizor. Uh, Scizor goes for the X-Scissor onto uh, High Dragon and ends up picking up the KO. Um, so I win the match, 1-0, which was really nice. Um... He definitely made a few mistakes that I was able to capitalize on. Um, if he had sent out High Dragon before Ludicolo, he would have been in much better shape because he could have KO'd one of my Pokemon, switched out, switched back in, and KO'd the other one. Um, but, that was, like I said, I got lucky this match. And I got lucky in the last match I showed. So, um, I ended up going 4-2 in the tournament, and I ended up being the worst overall 4-2 um, at 17th place, which really sucks because that means I get 2 points instead of 4, which, I once again, not a huge difference in... Probably won't matter. Like, if I make it, I'm going to make it. I'm not, I don't want to miss it by, you know, two points. If I do, then I'll re reflect on the fact that I got 17th and missed the points. But, um, so that's all my battles from the uh, November 30th uh, Nugget Bridge Live tournament. Uh, so stay tuned for more videos. Until next time, guys. Bye.